interesting things about Thanksgiving is that it's this wonderful sort of touchstone both for, you know, American nationalism, for American sort of cultural heritage. I grew up in England, so Thanksgiving was a real surprise to me. Who on earth made this holiday on a Thursday at the end of November? When Abraham Lincoln declared in 1863 that Americans should have a national holiday called Thanksgiving, that was the first time that it had been created as a national holiday. In the Civil War, Lincoln felt that the nation needed uniting. And so 1863, the war wasn't over yet, he created that, that day as a unification day. Well, it turns out that the real figure that needs to be acknowledged is a woman called Sarah Hale. She was the one who persuaded Abraham Lincoln to create a Thanksgiving. She wanted it on a Thursday to make it part of a work week so that the normal work had to stop. And she basically got the women of America to write letters to their congressmen, their senators, and to bug the heck out of these people to create the Thanksgiving. And she did this via a publication of hers that was called Godey's Ladies Book. Nowadays, there's no single women's magazine that has anything like the influence that Godey's Ladies Book had. And she was the editor and publisher of Godey's Ladies Book. I think the construction of Thanksgiving around a day in the lives of pilgrims is quite interesting. Yes, we had all of these sort of accumulated images and icons, the pilgrims, the hats, they got collected as the Thanksgiving story and we have absorbed it as our creation myth. The pilgrims are a creation. They didn't think of themselves as pilgrims. So this story that gets told to American children of it being associated with the first Thanksgiving. If there was genuinely a first meal, it certainly wasn't the first Thanksgiving because that wasn't created until Lincoln in 1863. The original meal that the Puritans might have had with their Indian friends would have looked nothing at all like what we had. I think that Sarah Hale ought to be taught in American schools rather than the pilgrims. One of the things she would have done through Godey's Ladies Book was get recipes sent in as suggestions and gradually the menu that we now have, the overeating kind of menu as well, was one that evolved. It's a nice story connected with the Puritans, but I think that it's Lincoln post-Civil War and Sarah Hale and Godey's Ladies Book and all the women of America contributing uh, recipes to, to create this wonderful American meal. Mm -hmm.